Today we're over at one of Polyface's contract farms and we're going to be looking at their Millennium Feather Net. It holds 900 laying hens and we're going to be talking about how they do food, water, how the actual Millennium Feather Net works and then the containment they use with the nets that they use for poultry. This is the feed buggy they use. It holds two to four weeks worth of feed for their chickens. They've got just a little door on top. You push that off, you can fill it out of a feed truck, auger all the feed in. And then when you go to feed the chickens, they take these boards off the front and five gallon buckets to the feeders like this, um, half a bucket per feeder, and away they go. It's pretty pretty easy the feed mechanism like I said two to four weeks of feed so they can be out in the pasture and they don't have to worry about getting the feed truck out there and everything they can auger it in whenever they need to and then bring it back out there and it keeps it really simple and straightforward polyface has a great system of underground piping that goes up fence lines and stuff so it's really easy to water their chickens all they got to do is they run a this air hose as their water line they use air hose so they can fit more on the reel here and they run it to the nearest spigot and plug that in and it comes up they have a little rubber tank here that I mean it's not going to stay the cleanest but you can empty it out and refill it anytime you want so that keeps it nice and clean with a simple float valve just a cattle float valve on screwed on the side there so the water simple water system is super easy I mean there's almost nothing that can go wrong you know your hose plugs you swap the hose there, it, it's not complicated it's easy to fix whenever anything goes wrong so on the front corners because these are laying hens you need to give them some oyster shells so the front corners they've got a little just a regular feeder here and filled with oyster shell it hangs off the ground so when they move it it just they don't even have to do anything that they fill it when it needs filled and then they don't have to worry about it. It hangs underneath the roof, doesn't get wet, and works really well. So I wanted to take a second and let you guys know about a couple of things. First of all, um, my brother has been making these Leatherman sheaths. They're made to fit the Surge or Wave Leathermans, but they'll fit just about any multi-tool, and they're the best sheaths on the planet. I mean, they last forever. I've been wearing one for a number of years now, and it's an earlier model but it still works great and these are awesome you can find them at polyfacefarms.com or I'll put a link in the description along with a bit of a better explanation of exactly how they work and the other thing is we're now on Instagram at basic skills channel so you can check us out there and keep up to date with what's going on so we'll talk a little bit about the design here you can see they've got a really great X frame so it's really strong the roof goes up on top of that and they've just got I believe four or five of those X's across and then they have the X's going the other way too so it's just it's really solid they made a bunch of triangles so that it can't collapse and you can see it's built to be moved so low roof won't blow away the stairs don't quite go to the ground they've got a nice angled support there so that they stay off the ground um, the chicken ramp here sits on top of the skid and the skids go front to back all the way around so you can just move it without having to push anything up on the inside or mess around with anything you just hook up and away you go really good design really simple but super effective so in here we've got nest boxes the general rule of thumb is one nest box per 10 birds so when you've got 900 birds in here you gotta have about 90 nest boxes roughly and these are closable nest boxes so at night you close them keeps the chickens from going in there and soiling all the hay which keeps your eggs cleaner um, and then you open them up in the morning before they start laying we also we're on a slatted floor here so the chickens come in here to sleep they also have roosts along the side there but when they come in here to sleep they're going to be pooping all over the floor and that with the slats then it just falls through it'll fertilize the grass and you don't have to worry about 
it getting too deep and have to shovel it out or anything. So it makes a real nice place you can walk in and collect all the eggs at night, close all the nest boxes, and you don't have to worry about ever cleaning it or it getting too slick or anything. This ramp in the back, I really like the way they designed it. It's just a regular chicken ramp and it just sits here. It's wired here so when they pull it, this just bounces along behind and they never pull it backwards. So you can just leave that there and it'll just bounce along behind no matter where you go. And you don't have to pick it up or move it or anything. You can just wire it there, let it hang out the back. All right, so we've got just these rough cut two by sixes, half inch carriage bolts, holding them together um, for the main X. And then this X is just screwed on, runs it down to a four inch piece of steel pipe, heavy steel pipe, and they got a foot welded on the bottom. They just hook it to the post here with a little bracket and a couple bolts um, and that's the pipe is your skid so it goes right front to back with this little plate on the front to keep it from digging and that's that's all that skid is and then they run this chain up here all the way up to this to a bar so that when they pull it it's not trying to pull their skids together so the bar keeps the chain separate so when they pull it it pulls it straight forward and they usually hook the feed buggy ahead of here. So you hook onto the feed buggy, feed buggy's hooked to here, and they just pull the whole thing all at once. Every three days they move it forward to a new spot. And the chickens all get out of the way as they go, and they just pull it up, put the fence back around it, and away they go. So they're just using a standard uh, poultry netting, and they run three nets together because it's 900 birds, so they need quite a bit of space. Three nets together, and then they've got another three nets. So in th they use three-day cycles, so the birds will be here for three days. Then they'll have the next net set up. They'll open it up, move it in there, close it behind it, and take down these three nets. And they just do that every few days and move them up. So the birds have enough time to eat the grass, get all the bugs and everything, and then they move into the next place. And they just power it with a... Premier One a solar fencer. It works, seems to work pretty good. They'll sometimes the power run out if you got a bunch of cloudy days in a row or whatever, but you can charge it up again. And those seem to work really well. I accidentally shocked myself with one the other day, and they really give you a good jump. So, Polyface Farms doesn't sponsor me at all, but as I've worked with them a little bit and seen what they do, I really appreciate it. So, they just came out with this latest book polyface designs um, and it's got this design it's got a whole bunch of other designs I was really skeptical about it at the beginning because I like to do all my own designs and I just didn't think it was worthwhile but when I actually got a chance to look at it and go through it it's really good I got two copies of it now it's a little expensive but it's worth it's worth the money so I would really recommend that um, if you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing and you can check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching.